This image was obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope on July the 21st, 2025. And this is the best image that we have so far of the interstellar object, Free Eye Atlas. The image shows a glow of light. And this comes ahead of the motion of Free Eye Atlas, pointing towards the Sun. And there is no evidence for a bright cometary tail in the other direction. Instead, this object's tail points towards the Sun. And this is as if it is performing an interstellar braking manoeuvre. Instead of material ejecting away from the Sun in a cometary tail, this object has material ejecting towards the Sun. And this is as if this object is ejecting material to slow itself down. And Avi Loeb said this week that this object may have its own light source. If Free Eye Atlas generates its own light, then it could be much smaller than expected from a model in which it reflects sunlight. The reflection model requires a diameter of up to 20 kilometers, but this is untenable given that the limited reservoir of rocky material in interstellar space can only deliver such a giant rock once per 10,000 years or longer. The steep brightness profile around Free Eye Atlas this implies that the nucleus dominates the observed light. This must hold irrespective of the origin of light. In other words, the nucleus dominates over the emission from the glow around it. And illumination by sunlight alone cannot explain the profile of scattered light where the radial distance from the nucleus is apparent. And the simplest interpretation is that the nucleus of this object produces most of its own light. Alternatively, Free Eye Atlas could be a spacecraft powered by nuclear energy, and that this material emitted from its frontal surface might be from the dirt that accumulated on its surface during its interstellar travelling. This, according to astronomers, cannot be ruled out, but requires better evidence to be viable. As of now, Free Eye Atlas is between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, and it's moving inwards towards its sun close approach. And this will take place on October the 29th and 30th of this year. And astronomers have said that this may even be the oldest object ever observed. It's very ancient, possibly over 7 billion years old, originating from the Milky Way's thick disk. Astronomers are planning further observations with the James Webb Space Telescope, especially before and after perihelion, and this is to get better insight into the object's chemical makeup. But what do you guys think about this interstellar object? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.